Hey everyone, today I'd like to go over how to count the number of years or the number of days between two given dates in your spreadsheet. So first you're going to need a start date and an end date. So we'll pick an arbitrary start date, uh, March 1st, 1991. And then for the end date, we'll do today which is April 30th, 2021. Now, if you want to have your spreadsheet update the day of today, every day, meaning that when it becomes May 1st tomorrow, the cell will display May 1st. You don't have to go in there and change it yourself. You can do that by hitting equals and then type in today with an open parentheses and then a close parentheses then hit enter so then tomorrow that will update to May 1st and then your number of years or number of days will change so how you calculate number of years is you use the function you type in equals year frac y e a r f r a c parentheses and then you click on your start date comma click on your end date hit enter and then you'll have 30.16 years you could trim it up uh, to round to the nearest year or the nearest tenth or whatever will display it like that. You can also calculate the number of days between two dates. So let's choose another start date. We'll do July 4th, 2017. And then we'll also do today equals today, open parentheses, close parentheses, to enter. Number of days is a little different. You'll have to type in equals and then the function is minus. So it subtracts the start date from the end date. So first you have to click on the end date and then the start date. So it'll subtract all those days from the end date. So you do equals minus, open your parentheses, click on the end date, comma, start date, and you'll have 1,396 days from today to July 4th, 2017. And once again, if you have today, the function today in your end date, these will update tomorrow to say 30 point whatever, a little bit more, and then 1,397 days. That's it for this video. It's a pretty simple way to figure out the number of days or the number of years between two given dates. I have the functions both listed here if you want to write those down. And if you learned something from this video, please give a like. I appreciate it a lot. And also comment if you have any questions or thoughts for other videos I should do. As always, please subscribe as well. Thank you.